A federal trial with national attention began this week in Tucson. Border Patrol agent Lonnie Swartz is charged with murdering a Mexican citizen, 16-year-old Jose Antonio Rodriguez in 2012. Schwartz shot the teen 10 times through the border fence in Nogales, leading to a second-degree murder charge and the first prosecution of a federal agent for a fatal shooting across the international border. Tucson attorney Bill Reisner has represented several plaintiffs in cases filed in civil court against the Border Patrol. We asked how this latest case stands apart from others and what jurors are being asked to consider. What's really unique is that it being on the border that uh, we, we have our armed agents inside the United States that's actually shooting people uh, uh, in Mexico. So I would say the most important thing would be that people on both sides of the border would feel that there was a, a, a trial with real uh, evidence and, and that there was justice. That's the, the, that's the key aspect. In this case, you, all the jurors come from southern Arizona, and it, it's really hard not to have some sort of a feeling or emotion toward border issues. Our political climate has changed over the years. How exactly will a prosecutor or defense attorney go about that balance in, in really speaking to the jurors? So obviously from the prosecution's viewpoint, they're, they're just trying to uh, you know, bring the facts out and I don't think they'll uh, uh, shy away from uh, uh, recognizing that people have differing viewpoints, mm -hmm. but the facts are pretty strong. You've got a young man killed uh, well in uh, Mexico, I don't know, 30 meters or more into the country, and somebody shooting through the fence. And in the back. I mean, the, the evidence here, we have shot in the back, and then there's also video that will that jurors will eventually see of this taking place. I mean, that, that's really got to, to hit jurors pretty hard. You'd think. Uh, one thing is uh, both uh, teams, they're good defense lawyers and uh, they're good uh, prosecution uh, uh, lawyers. This case will be about a, a young man who may or may not have been throwing rocks at an agent, an agent responding with a firearm. Yeah. Are those two very similar things when we talk about self-defense? Well, not, not in the least. Look, um, uh, it's fairly common uh, in some places that someone might throw rocks across the, the border fence. They might be annoyed or something. Basically, you just step back, you get out of the way, you get behind your car some. There's no uh, comparison. When you're using a 40 caliber with hollow point bullets and you're shooting multiple times through a fence at someone, that's only to kill someone. In the past, the, the agency has released photos of agents who have been wounded by, by rocks. Yeah. And those have been released to the public. We've seen them in the press. The chances of jurors seeing this and having, forming some sort of opinion, I mean, that can really challenge a case like this one, can't it? Because somebody somewhere has been hit by rocks, we all know they can be dangerous. The question is, what are those circumstances and what was the intent of the person and was it a situation where you cannot avoid it?